Okay. Enough chit chat. Let's look at Reddit again. We're gonna be looking at r slash not like other girls. That's it. Let's see. Um, this time we're going to sort it by. Let's sort it by. Let's see what the top was actually for the past year. First things first. What do we have here? Where's dress? So obviously feminism bad. Jeez. <sighs> when you used to be an OF model, but now you post about baking sourdough, living for God, and speak against modern fem feminism. Why is she speaking against it? Hi, I'm Gwen. I'm in 2020. I made the biggest mistake of my life and started an OF account. That's hilarious because a lot of girls would say that's like the best thing that they've ever done is start an OF account. Despite making more money than ever before, I was miserable and felt so alone. But this year, despite being an atheist my whole life, God found me and saved me. Oh, well, good for her. And now I'm determined to use my story to help other girls get out of this evil industry and find real joy in the Lord. Okay, OF is not an evil industry. Some girls just enjoy being on OF. Like, get your bed. Ever noticed that everything modern feminism promotes leaves women unhappy and unfulfilled? No. Hormone disrupting birth control, promiscuity, working such stressful 9 to 5 jobs. Yes, can we please stop doing that? <laughs> Not getting married or having children. Some people are actually pretty happy and fulfilled not getting married or having children, so... Gwen, you're gonna have to keep your opinion to yourself. Okay, but this is just fetishism of a different sort. Same turd, different polishing. Yeah, really. Okay. Girl. We're boy moms, another boy mom. All the clothes that we fold look like... Look a little something like this. Yeah, it's been really sick. We're, We're boy moms. moms. Oh god. We're, We're boy moms. moms. We read books like this. We're, We're boy moms. moms. We have a bin just for pretend weapons. We're, We're boy moms. moms. We know that we cannot handle for the life of us having a little girl. We're, We're boy moms. moms. We'll, we'll be finding Nerf gun darts for the rest of our lives in our house. Literally, like, that's my boyfriend's apartment now. We're, We're boy moms. moms. Even, Even though we try to explain to other moms, moms what it's like being an all-boy mom. We're boy moms. moms. Okay, we get it. She's not like other girls because she's a boy mom. Ugh. There's so many boy moms in the world. Ugh. Definitely not like other girls. I'm not like other girls. I do sport. I do a lot of fencing, y'all. I have nice dark hair. I love nail. My name is... Inigo Montoya, you killed my father, prepare to die. Okay, this is trolling. Okay, I took the bait. This was, I fell for it too, honestly. <laughs> that was a good one. You got me. You got me there. Her husband doesn't allow her to have male friends. Why is it warped? Okay, I don't leave home alone after dark. Anything, neither do I. Unless I have my dog or my boyfriend with me. Anything that needs to be done outside the home can be done during daylight. Yes, I, I actually agree with that. Uh, I always ask my husband before I leave home and arrive places as well, share locations and safest at home with husband. This is all about safety. He use Life 360. Okay, is this a Life 360 sponsored app? What's happening here? No opposite sex friendships. This is disrespectful to your partner. Opens the door for comparisons and affairs. <sighs> That's stupid. Guys and girls can be friends. Who gives a fuck? Any friendship needs I get from women and family. Wives, submit. Oh, wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do the Lord. This is all very Catholic. I'm fine. Okay, male friends are fine. I'm not dealing with this this anymore. Perfect example of the manic pixie dream girl archetype. Yes. Oh, shut up. I'm not mad. I just... The way I see it, you can play.
That is truly like oh, every, shut up. like every girl in an indie film. We are, we are not the same. the same. We're never the same. There's always a difference. You and, you and his DMs. DMs. I'm out home smoking his weed. I don't, I don't even know what we're talking about. You and, you and her DMs. I'm in her driveway stealing her catalytic <laughs> converter. We're not the same. Her name was Aurora Borealis, but everyone just called her Abs for short. She was a natural beauty and not like the other girls. She had brown hair and an appropriate amount of freckles. Her skin was like a cup of coffee that was mostly milk because she was white. She didn't need to wear a lot of makeup like the other girls. She didn't care about things like that. She wore ripped jeans and vintage t-shirts because appearances didn't matter to her. She ate lots of food but never gained any weight. She collected hotel Bibles and would cut the pages out to create origami swans. She was just unique like that. She even cut her own hair, which it was fine because it, it didn't look bad. It didn't look like it was a mistake. It, it looked good. Not a single person noticed her, except for me. I noticed her because she was different. <laughs> that was good. Right? I like this satire. The Bible page origami is perfection. Her skin was like a cup of coffee that was mostly milk. <laughs> Milk. Yeah, that was good. I love this. Why is it always sourdough dresses? You choose a man who provides so you get to spend every day in pretty dresses, taking care of the children at home, baking fresh sourdough. Yeah, they're always doing something with fresh sourdough and wearing sundresses. And they're not like other girls. They're not like the other hundreds of millions of girls wearing sundresses and baking sourdough. They're all different from each other. They're evil, that's sick. That's perfect. Love when this, like this, show up on my Insta. Pardon? I'm a stay at home mom who bakes sourdough. Enough with the sourdough. R slash sourdough. TW sourdough. I don't wear aprons. I don't homestead. I'm not religious. I don't homeschool my kids. I don't serve my husband. I work with him. I just bake bread. I don't serve my husband. I work with him. I just bake bread. What the fuck? Okay, something about sourdough. Like, sourdough is trending now. Sourdough is the new kale. Woman posts cute video of husband helping her get around hours after giving birth. If my husband has dotted on me like this, has doted? It's supposed to be doted, I think, not dotted. I'd have slapped him. I'm not an invalid second day we left the hospital. I went home, he took the baby and slept in the chair while I cooked lunch and cleaned the house after after my first. Went out to eat after second one, then to a movie. Girl, you were slacking. Two hours after I gave birth to triplets, I went home and framed out an addition to our house. <laughs> That's hilarious. So this one girl's like, after I had my husband, or I had my kid, like I would never let my husband like take care of me. I was cooking food for him and he was just sleeping with the baby and this other woman's like, you're slacking like I installed a new water heater by myself I changed the oil in my husband's truck I couldn't find the right jack so I just lifted it with my left hand and did the test with my right hand and right foot <laughs> that's exactly the way to handle this perfect points to them okay so found this on tiktok pov you embraced christian modesty and your wedding was coming up then what happened but you hated the immodest wedding dress trend so you designed your own wedding dress and had it made for you. This guy's <laughs> trolling on our like another, uh, not like other girls, I love it. On your big day, you became a testament to the fact that modesty and beauty are compatible. <laughs> so there is nothing uglier than an immodest bride who leaves nothing to the imagination. There's always someone. When your patient just gave birth, and the new husband asks to throw an extra stitch. <sighs> Sorry, I'd be humiliated if I couldn't pleasure my spouse because I refused to get the stitch. Oh. Worst I have seen. Let's see what's the worst. 
not being able to relate to this trend because I have been a SAHM since 18 and skipped the whole getting a degree thing. What's SAHM? <laughs> Realizing all women will forever have in common that God created our bodies to know exactly how to birth and wondering when and why we stop believing that. Because some people don't want to have fucking kids. I have four hydro flasks with me that are filled with safe water beer liver and our multivitamin and I caught my own baby. You caught your own baby at home by yourself. You caught your baby. Did you go fishing and like you threw a hundred babies in a kiddie pool and then you went like fishing? What the fuck? And she talks about herself a lot is right. Oh, I need to stop going on this reddit thread because it just pains me like Usually I have words. This leaves me speechless way too often. So different. No, because normal 23-year-olds are out partying on the weekend and I'm making homemade rolls for my three gremlins while they watch a Disney movie and my husband does yard work. She's so different. She's so pretty. I'm so ugly. Literally so hideous. Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm so ugly, right? Um, no. Stop, I'm literally not even wearing makeup. Don't gas me up. This is Maddie, a girl whose only concern seems to be impressing boys by pretending to care about their interests or hating on other girls to make herself look better, which is why people call her a pick-me girl. I am not one of those girly girls. I'm one of the boys. I just like hanging out with the boys because girls are too much drama. Yeah, right, bitch. When Maddie spends time with these boys, she makes sure to flirt with them at every opportunity. But her flirting is not always effective. Guys, I'm bored. Can we play a game like spin the bottle or truth or dare? Sure. I dare you to leave. Guys, stop! When we asked Maddie how she felt about getting kicked out of the apartment, she claimed it was an inside joke between her and the boys and that we wouldn't understand it. I have the same inside joke with my ex-wife. This is exactly what a pick me girl is. It's that girl who's always like, I'm like so ugly, right? Like I like don't look cute, right? Honestly, the production on this video was really good. I like that. That is exactly what a pick me girl is. <laughs> These are all giving a lot of the, um, Cody and Noel. Girl Defined. This is giving Girl Defined, not like other girls. Maybe Girl Defined started not like other girls. That was r slash not like other girls, the top of the year. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I don't know how many more of these are got in me. It stresses me out. But I will see you the next time and thanks for checking this out. Please um, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Like and subscribe, leave a comment if you want, and I'll TTYL, I-L-Y, TTYL.